Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today Microsoft rolled out the new build for the dev channel, which is 22509. This new build includes some improvements that make browsing the web in Microsoft Edge with Narrator easier. This build also includes a good set of improvements, so let's dive in. Microsoft made browsing the web in Microsoft Edge with Narrator easier. Specifically, typing in edit fields should now be faster. When navigating around the web more useful information is provided. And lastly, you will have a more consistent navigation experience with Narrator. If you want the advantage of this new feature, make sure that you have Microsoft Edge version 97.0.4683.0 or higher. Starting in this build, you can right-click on Start to quickly access Start Settings, and choose the More Pins or More Recommendations Layout option, to show an extra row of either pins or recommendations, respectively. When a secondary monitor is connected, your clock and date will now also be displayed on the taskbars of the secondary monitor or monitors for glanceability. For apps that send notifications for calls, reminders, or alarms that leverage Windows notifications in the OS, three high-priority notifications will now be shown as stacked, and shown at the same time. This means at any given time, you might see up to four notifications at the same time, three high-priority notifications and one normal-priority notification. Microsoft also made some changes in the settings. Now you'll find advanced sharing settings, such as network discovery, file and printer sharing, and public folder sharing, to a new page in the settings app under advanced network settings. Microsoft also made some updates to the device-specific pages under printers and scanners in settings to show more information about your printer, or scanner directly in settings when available. Added a new option to the installed apps page in settings to sort the list from name, Z-Day, and accordingly, updated the previous alphabetically option to now be called name, A to Z. Some of the entry points for network and devices settings in the control panel, will now redirect to the corresponding pages in settings. Windows 11 will now remember, if you turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, while in airplane mode. Next time you use airplane mode, the radios will reflect your preference and stay on to make it easier to keep listening to headphones and remain connected while traveling. Windows Sandbox now supports reboot inside of its virtualized environment. For example, if you were to click the restart option under the power button in start. That was all the changes and improvements made in the build, moving to the fixes. The start, search, task view, widgets, and chat icons in the taskbar should no longer be unexpectedly large when the system scaling is set to 125%. Pressing the Windows key plus, the number corresponding to an app icon's position in the taskbar should cycle now through the app's windows if you repeatedly press the number instead of stopping at the last window. Microsoft Fix and Explorer.exe crash some insiders were experiencing in recent flights related to updating badges in the taskbar. Microsoft also made some other fixes which are not very useful. If you want to read the full article, you can find the link to the official Microsoft blog. So, that was it for now, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.